Good morning and welcome to the Elevate Renatas team call. Today is Money Monday. My name is Keely Austin. I'm excited to be here with you today. It's February 15th. We've got some quick announcements to go through. Our quote of the day today is, the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. We've got our dates for national conference that is going uh, coming up just around the corner. It's gonna be March 18th through the 20th. So we've got three days of excellent training. You absolutely want to be fully present for these three days of full, three full days of training. This is our opportunity to hear what is going on with the company, the latest and the greatest. Also some fantastic training from leaders from across the country. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Tickets are available. Make sure to get your tickets. The theme is shift, shifting higher into focus transformation and our nationals this year will be online. We've got our dates for leaders retreat. We'll be going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. These dates have been adjusted from the dates that I've been mentioning here for a while now. So make sure to make that adjustment in your calendars if you haven't. So we are going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, August 20th through the 24th this year. So we'll see you there. I'm super excited for that. And then on Mondays at 4 p.m., so today at 4 o'clock Mountain Time, we will have our Renatus Founders Live. It's on the Facebook page, Renatus Founders Live Facebook page, so make sure you tune in for that. There are three kinds of people in this world, people who make it happen, people who watch what happens, and the people who wonder what happened. You're never left wondering when you're tuning into the Founders Live each and every Monday. Every Monday night at 7 p.m., we have our national study groups. We are going through the essentials right now. Make sure you're tuning in for that and getting your students and your guests involved. And our Helios app is a great feature where you can actually share the Money Matrix videos with your leads, with your guests, so they can download the app and then have them enter in your access code. So know, know how to locate your access code. If you have questions on that, feel free to reach out to us. Um, so download the app, give it five stars and make sure you, you're utilizing the features that it offers. Every week at 6 p.m. on Thursdays, we have our private capital masterclass. On uh, Monday through Friday, we have our dream call, the daily real estate action mastermind. We've got the daily team call happening right now, every day, Monday through Friday, eight to nine in the morning. And then we have last but not least, the Zoom up call. That is Monday through Friday at noon. It's only about 20 minutes long. And this is a really cool call where we're interviewing a different student each and every day. So we're hearing all kinds of incredible stories, success stories from students from across the country. Make sure that you're getting your guests in front of that Zoom up call. OES, OES is where you can sign up for the optional event subscription. There's also a short video there that explains what the optional event subscription is, why you wanna be a part of that, how that helps support the teams and then on Tuesdays, if you are looking to introduce your guests to the profits education that we offer, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. is a great opportunity to do so. Our uh, wonderful Bob Tierney is doing a intro presentation for the profits. So that's Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Every week we have a virtual house tour and this is built around you know, building for this for your guests. So get your guests to these virtual house tours really, really powerful way to show them what is possible with this education when you take action. Last week's tour, this was Lily Parto's property. Purchase price is 289, rehab 38,000. Holding costs is 9,000 and the ARV is 390. She's got a couple of options here. And that's what I love about the house tours is it shows all kinds of exit strategies and different acquisition strategies. And it's just really exciting for, again, for our guests to see what's possible. The Couple of options here, if she flips it, she's gonna walk away with around $40,000 in net profit. And if she carries it, seller finance, she can get a cash flow of $400 a month or keep it as a rental and cash flow 850 a month. So really cool tour, make sure you're tuning in each and every week. These are Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. These are our weekly virtual house tours. And then every Thursday, we've got all kinds of events to choose from. So tune in on Thursdays, we are doing the house tour that's offered on Wednesday. Wednesdays, it's in English and every Thursday we offer that same house tour in Spanish. Then we have our Pillars of Wealth intro presentation. We've got our follow-up and funding webinar. We've got an onboarding session, a Velocity Banking study group, as well as multifamily wholesaling and short-term rental. We do record these morning trainings. You can catch them on our Facebook page as well as on YouTube. 
The YouTube channel is Elevate Renatus and our Facebook page also has a lot of important announcements. Plus you get to network with the team, ask questions, get engaged. So really important to be a part of the Facebook page, which is Renatus Team Elevate. Now let's uh, shift gears and we will go through our money matrix exercise. And I do need to pause the recording. Michael is only 32 years old and what he's been able to accomplish with uh, the program that we have here with Renatus is absolutely incredible. So we have a lot to learn from Michael. Make sure you take notes. I'm excited for what he has to share. Good morning, Michael. How are you? Good morning. Doing great. Staying up early, getting up late. Oh, wait, that's not how you do it. <laughs> What's up, everyone? <laughs> Uh, keep you on your toes, staying up early, getting up late. <laughs> okay, so we're about to kick off our 10 day challenge. But before we get into that, let's talk about uh, what we got from the exercise. I'm going to attempt to share my screen. I did all the updates last night. So it should just go screen to view to you to see it. And it doesn't look like it's doing it. OK. No problem. I will just bring it up. And we will go to the whiteboard here. All right, let me share with you. And then we're going to have two people share. And then we'll get into the rest of what I wanted to talk to about today. OK, so uh, does everyone remember the question? Will you, will you restate the question? Um, in my own words, take a look at the way that you faced challenges in your business in the past and how can you going forward face challenges differently to set you up for better success? Perfect. So before, here's how I would chase, face challenges. Before, uh, I would get angry. Okay, here comes a challenge. Damn it, it's not what I wanted. Then that anger would then turn into blame. Well, damn it, why is this shit happening to me? Why can't it happen to someone else? Blame, blame, blame. And then, you know what I would do? I'd feel some guilt around blaming other people because ultimately I know I'm responsible for my own outcome in life. And then that guilt would then lead to some unnecessary shaming. Why would I go around and waste all my time and energy and send these stupid thoughts, blah, blah, blah. And you get into this stupid shame thing. And then you destroy something or you don't create something. That was my old way of dealing with challenges that came up in the past. Can anyone relate to this silly nonsense? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the new, the after, after I took a class, after I woke up, I guess, after, I don't know. I don't know what shifted to make it. <clears throat> different but after for me is now first thing that's going to happen fascination i will become fascinated with what's happening in front of me then some people don't like it i can see it on their face but i will then laugh they're like why are you laughing right now and that's not a time to laugh but for me, that's how I reassociate what's going on. So I laugh and then I look for, how is this for me? Because the old way of looking with the blame and the shame was to me. These things are happening to me. But instead, the new mindset is, how is this for me? Okay. Then learn what's the lesson from whatever I'm whatever mess I'm in, then it's bring gratitude because I've got to have an attitude of gratitude if I'm going to keep growing as a human. And then because I'm now in a space of gratitude, I can create. So from the exercise from the money mastery video this morning, what I got was my old way led to all kinds of energy and vibrations I didn't want to feel and ultimately to destruction and my new way of doing things 
which has got me pretty far in life so far. Who knows where it'll take me, but this is my after. Fascination, laugh, how's this for me? Learn from it, create gratitude around it, and then go and create what I want in the world. All right, who else would like to share who is not a typical sharer on the call? You know, there are some people who always share. You're going to pause. Who is not shared recently or often that would like to share what they got from the exercise this morning? Okay, Jared and... Oh, I'm going to call out Jared Hill, not Jared Brenchley. We get plenty of money from Brenchley on our real estate calls. But Hill, I'm going to have you come out and share what you got from the exercise this morning. And uh, Laura, Laura Beachman. I know that's not how you say your name. Laura, Laura Beach, Beachum, Beachum. So if you're up and ready, uh, please share. I, I'll, I'll write it down if you want uh, in my little chat, in my little box here, the before and the after. You don't have to do it the same way I did it, but um, all right. So let's have Jared go first. Jared, are you there? Yeah. Morning. Good morning. <clears throat> okay. So my, um, my old way of thinking, I would say, for my business in the past was a little bit... Um, you know, um, kind of closed off, maybe a little insecure, I, um, not very organized like I should be, you know, um, correspondence and everything, um, you know, connecting with my network and giving them exposure to my, who I am, exposure to me. Uh, as, a, as a teacher, I was a dance teacher for like 20 years, one of the best, but no one knew I existed, so. <laughs> Um, after um, beginning to take my essentials and cleaning up my back office, you know, beginning to educate myself on how to be organized, I really like um, in Mark Kohler's first class, he says, true wealth is um, financial responsibility, spiritual well-being, and personal well-being. And um, that really hit me. So I started really taking care of myself, my confidence, came back, you know, I've been networking, doing things I, you know, normally wouldn't do to my videos and just letting people know that I'm out there. So it's really helped, benefited me just to um, begin to learn the information and bring it all in. Nice. Cool, man. Well, thanks for coming out here and sharing. Thank you. For an example. Okie dokie, Laura, good morning. Good morning. Um, I thought I participated a lot, but <laughs> I guess I'll participate <laughs> more. <laughs> um, for me, I was reflecting on my prior job. I, I guess it's similar to you. I reacted with anger and then I would kind of feel bad and stuff, but I realized that the way that I, I was communicating wasn't properly re, uh, representing myself. And that although I had solid points to make, that the way that I was delivering them was defeating, defeating my purpose or not really getting me to the place I want to be. So I wanted to change that so that I could, not only in my personal life, really in my um, work life, because, um, you know, there's opportunities to, um, well, when you're faced with a challenge with somebody, you still have to talk professionally, you still have to be able to like, get your point across and I wasn't doing that. So anyways, I started discovering um, nonviolent communication oh, yeah. and non communication is basically a way of listening better. <laughs> so it basically, instead of listening to somebody, an example would be if your neighbor came to you and said, you know, get the hell out of my yard, instead of hearing their anger toward you, you'd be listening to them say, you know, I need you to respect my space. You know, I feel like you are infringing on me. Instead of hearing the anger, when you come with um, compassion, when you're listening with compassion, then you can kind of hear better. And it kind of allowed me to get off of the emotional side of communication and detach from that a little bit and just try to um, 
get my point across better. So I'm working on that still. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. And I feel like we've got some good examples for people out on the line here to see old and new. What's working for us. So take a screenshot if that'll help for you to capture this. And I'm going to end this screen share here. Oh, I can save these. I didn't know that. Nice. Okay, I'm glad we're going through these exercises. Just really makes you think differently. Okay. So I need to invite another group of people to the challenge today. I just realized I had not done that yet. So I'm just going to do it in front of you just to make sure working is being worked on. LinkedIn, this is where we're at. Okay. And these are the people, this is the multifamily group, 46 people in this conversation. I invited them a while ago to, uh, house tour thing that I was sharing. Anyway, I just need to share the thing in this group now. So, um, I guess all, what I'll do is I'll go into Facebook and I'll grab the link for the 10 day challenge. Okay, so here's the challenge group. And I got my link. So let's go to LinkedIn. Good morning, everyone. Get some sunshiny faces in there. How in the world are you going to track that if they all join? Or well, if any of them join? Yeah, I got the list of members here. So when I see them in the group and then I see them on my list. Okay. That That's my rudimentary way of doing it. I know you deal with registration a lot more than I do. <laughs> um, a couple of these people I've already had invited to other things like Richard and William, Adrian, Alicia, Ari, had these people add other things, so they already registered. Okay. To me, but as far as like these 46 people, um, I don't know. Is there anything coming up for you that would make it easy? You could tell them to DM you or something like that. Or have them fill out an Excel sheet that puts the lead, put, um, a Google sheet that puts the leads right into an Excel sheet, like requesting their information to register. Okay. I did this tomorrow, but then when, how do you know who they are on Facebook? Because he'll have a list of the people he gave the Google sheet to, the Google registration form to. So, okay, I'm glad we're doing this together. Um, You keep thinking about that. I'm going to get this message out of my brain. Like, yeah, like Tam Tamara was saying, instead of just giving them the Facebook link directly, maybe say something to, to get them to opt in to be interested first. Um, reply. Or reply yes first. Right. Uh, what I'm doing is that I'm inviting them one by one. Uh, I have noticed that many ha do not have the same Facebook name as their usual name. 
So that has helped to, to keep track. Or you could even do it through an Eventbrite link, uh, Michael. Yeah, or just a landing page. You invite them to a landing page, which tells them a little bit more about the event. They fill in the name on the landing page. You could use Renatus iOS for that and quickly, quickly create a, a, a landing page in Renatus iOS. Oh, really? Are you going to, when you say quickly, quickly? Um, like, very quickly. By that. Would that have Renatus mixed in with it, with the iOS page? No. All right, he said quickly, quickly, so I stopped what I was doing to see how quickly. All right, tell me. Be me. So go to, I can't see your screen, I'm on my phone. I go to communicate or manage. I can't remember which one now. Go there. Oh. No. Let me get on the, my computer quick. Okay. Michael, how many groups are you a member of? <laughs> um, as many as possible. Yeah, define your question. Everybody knows Michael, even the Vatican. So you go to What's lead the... flow. Renata Sias, lead flow. Listening. Websites, create site, it should say landing page. Well, left on. What would you like to call your website? 10 day challenge with five. 10, T, 10, 10 DC, I don't know, invite. Customize your subdomain. I changed this since I was last on. Um, you can do 10, I don't know, do whatever that name was. 10 day real estate challenge 01. I have updated this, my bad. <clears throat> I should have been on you. Processing. What would you like to call your website? And I just waited to take this processing. Your site has been created. You need to then select a theme content pack and you'll be able to edit your site. Okay. Uh, never done this before, guys. No, they've what? changed this completely. They've yes, updated it big time. My, I'm fascinated. I'm going to laugh through this. How's this for me? I'm going to learn. Have an attitude of gratitude and get into create mode. My God. Yes. You're welcome. Is that helping? All right, select a theme. Everybody knows Michael loves to learn. Wow, this uh, is awesome. That's why he's so successful. I guess so, huh? So I think that you would go to the left-hand side and you would go to forms. It's the one that looks like a stop street with lines in the middle of it. And you would go to new form. Do I need to pick a theme first or no? Uh, yeah, select the theme. Let's do this innovation theme. I like it. I like that one too. Okay, this is a child theme of site builder, whatever that means. Activate. Down at the bottom where it says activate. Oh, I got these stupid zoom menus floating around. Okay, there it is. They're not stupid zoom menus. Okay, content pack. Investor, buyer, buyer seller combo. Investor, distressed, absentee owner, cash buyer, dream home, private lender. Rent herself has stop for closure. I don't know. 
Just investors. Just investors. <coughs> Are you on all pages? I'd go to the single page one probably. So I need to just go back and look on this form. If you got a private lender, it's an easy one. Am I trying to do the form thing or this thing? Yeah, the first? form thing. But then look for on the somewhere there at the top, it should have single page. You can choose. Okay. There, single page. Don't go to all. Yeah. Single page. Single page, because you just want one landing page. Then if you come down to there's the private lender, that's easy. You you can't do the investor. I don't know what you're saying. No, I mean, he, he asked you to go the private lender. That's what I did. No, yeah, I, I mean, you can do anyone. I was just... I like, am, I, am I changing the, the language in here? You're supposed to be able to. Um, I could have made a quick Google form in the amount of time. Do it. All right, can you share your screen and show us how it's done? I'm going to keep goofing around with this for a minute. Or an Eventbrite, and then that'll automate the response for the Facebook link. So it sends it right out to them once they register. I'm not familiar with Eventbrite, so someone else can do that one. I, I can do it. All right, share your screen. Uh, will All you make right. Sarah co-host so she can do it? We need to do this quick. I need, I need, we got 13 minutes. I got to send this message. Give me one second. Can I ask a quick question while we're doing this? It'll cost you. I always do as I'm learning. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, so um, the video that you put out yesterday with the instructions to do the two minutes and so forth, is that just for us as the inviters or also for the guests we invite to? They're supposed to do it as well. In my brain, there are no difference between students and guests in this challenge. Everyone goes. Okay. Home. So I'll tag my people on that thing you posted yesterday then. Yes. Make sure they're, they're following All the instructions. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks. I missed that. I went, I sent somebody to unit one, the unit thing is, wasn't that your welcome video, Michael? Unit? There's, there's two videos in unit one now. Okay. Is the second one about the video, the two minute video? Yeah, go look. Okay, fine, thank you. Yeah, you'll see it. Yeah, we're trying to put everything in the units so that people just go to the same place every time and there's a little check box as they progress through the assignments. How many days into the challenge? We're breaking up, breaking up. Right. How many days into the uh, 10 day challenge would you suggest we, we caught up and not make it available for uh, new people? Ask it one more time. How many days within the 10 day challenge would you suggest that, hold on, that we cut off um, not to get more people in because it would be too late into the challenge? Mm, I would say maybe five days. Thank Richard you. said he was uh, he was inviting people to the last day. Richard said the whole time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice. technically, yeah. yeah, they could be going through the whole the whole shebang. Richard said just have them start at the very beginning and follow through the ones that already been recorded and then catch up. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right, so I just created the details for the event for the most part. The event uh, ends on the 24th, Tamara. Oh, okay, I'll fix that in a second. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Um, and then just real quick for the details for when they register, you just go to order form. So 
in order for them to get to the link, they have to, they'll be required to fill out their first name, their last name, their email, their phone number. Um, you can customize questions there. So, I was wondering if they, if they custom, when you're customizing questions, if one question can be your Facebook login. So you got that recorded. Yeah, you can do that. Um, you just go down here. Hold on. Oh, yeah, add custom questions. Yeah, I don't think we need to do the, the Facebook link though because if i got their email address that's to me it seems like the, the cleanest way to track it but don't okay. they have to friend you on facebook or is it automatic because you're already in the group um yeah we would have to there's a, a yeah there's a step where i would have to make sure i'm friends so i can invite them to the group but I don't need to invite, I don't need to go through the invite function. If they're coming to Eventbrite and filling this out, Eventbrite will send them the link to the group and then they can request to join the group. Right. So just add a question. Oops, saving it. All right. So then now to respond, order confirmation, then that's where you put the Facebook um, confirmation link. So easy. Congratulations um, on taking action. Join the link below to start journey. The challenge. And just to, for time's sake, um, so that will go out once they register. And I'll elaborate on this a little bit later more. Um, save. But uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. And then I just add some more details here, which I didn't do yet, but I'll just copy and paste um, probably what's in the group or maybe one of the um, Canva ads on here. Yeah, there we go. Done. Yeah, I think the next one we're going to have to make, we're going to have to charge. That's just my own theory. I haven't even, we haven't even run one today yet so far, but I'm just having a feeling like maybe the next time we're going to have to charge like a hundred bucks. Just to yeah. make it cleaner and more organized. But that's why we're doing it for free so we can get the demand. Okay, so while she's finishing that, I'm going to finish my message over to the LinkedIn group. So right now I'm saying good morning, everyone. Uh, we know that working as a community group helps people stay accountable to results. Created a 10 day real estate investing challenge. Um, 
it's inside a private IP group people making me not yet. There you go. Easy enough. Let me come back. When did you start using Grammarly? Um, a long time ago. It's been a game changer. I can't live without it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can and then only there's people guess wondering what it is. Yeah, so if you guys want help with your auto-correcting, oh my goodness. Uh, you can install a little Chrome plugin called Grammarly. Yeah, yeah. Grammarly is a game changer. So it looks like Tamara's uh, made it made an Eventbrite page before. And we can say it ends on the 25th because we're going to do a, an event into the group also. So 24th will be day 10. And then on, on the, that Thursday, we'll also do something to invite them to move into the essential to the extreme. Grammarly into your Chrome, Pete. If you just type in on your laptop, on your phone, it won't do it, but on laptops. Make sure it's a public event if that's your intention. There you go. And then you'll have their information and then easy because it automates sending them the link. Wow. She did that in less than 10 minutes while I was talking at her. You are a pro. How impressive. She deserves a raise. <laughs> Take right. so, so how are you actually using it now that it's all done to capture? That's... I'm just going to take that link that she okay. made. I'll drop it in my LinkedIn conversations. Gotcha. But that's just for me. Tamara made it out of her account. That's me. fine. But what I'll, if someone else wants to use it, I'll just add um, who, who, well, if they don't know who invited you. Just me, Tamara. That's okay. That's just for me. We're going to keep <laughs> it organized. <People laughs> okay, that's fine. Not fair. Make this. But you guys, yeah, we captured the recording. You were able to watch that if you need to watch the step-by-step -step of what she clicked on. But it was not complex. So if you want to go make one, there it is. So that link now, Tamara, I can go and drop in my my chat group to the LinkedIn group. Yes. Wow. What a world I live in. That's you, awesome. Thanks for sharing. You're so welcome. You can even make that link a little shorter with Bitly, but I don't know if you if, if that matters to you. With this be a good idea as a way to invite people to when you're trying to build up for events yeah totally seems like it let's it raise like yours legit event you know yeah totally sorry go ahead pete what were you gonna say i said we should raise three cheers she did great uh, raise three chairs Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> I will remove this though, if just Michael's using that. Put a picture of me in there. <laughs> send, put me, send me a picture that you like. Oh man, okay. Hold on, yeah, or just... You, you have a picture of me somewhere. I do, hang on. Okay, so in my LinkedIn here. For now, you can just use the link. You can add the picture later. Is 
So Tamara, this one that you made is specifically either Michael or you, but we have to start from scratch and do our own. Is, is that a fair assumption? Yeah, but it literally takes you two minutes. Well, for someone who knows what they're doing, it could. True, true. Maybe, maybe 15 minutes though, because all I did was copy and paste things. Yeah, for some it could take two days. <laughs> I think it's just I the just navigating thinking. around the website, not the cut and paste, is the navigating the website. Sorry, yeah. I can do that a little slower so sometime. I mean, I just wanted to get it done, so it was um, created, but I'm happy to, uh, I could stay on here. Oh no, maybe after the dream call or something, or tomorrow morning or something. You guys, um, let me think about it for a second. You could always just do a video um, on your own time and then post it to Elevate. Is that Michael? Yeah, it's totally cool. I could, but if I'm doing that, I might as well have people on it. But yeah, whatever works, it doesn't matter to me. It's timing, that's all. Yeah, that would be really helpful because yeah, I'm not. Maybe do it after the dream call. That would be here's, awesome. Here's what I'll do. I'll pick a time and then I'll I'll place it in the, I'll tell everyone on, on the, I, I actually I don't know if I can do it right after the dream call, but I can do it um, tomorrow right after the dream call. And yeah, I can do it. And whoever can jump on, awesome. If there's people on, awesome. If there's not, that's awesome too. Well, I'll just record it. Well, we're starting to, tonight, tomorrow. <laughs> Gotcha. Well, you guys, I can't do it right after the dream call, but I, I will be glad to do it tomorrow right after the dream call. Hey, you guys can is, YouTube how to do it. YouTube. There you go. Thanks, Tamara. You know what? I think this is all going to be recorded right into, yeah. into uh, on this webinar anyway, so we can go back and look at it and slow it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then if you, and I'm still happy to do it tomorrow right after the dream call. Thank you so much. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tamara. And great point, Doug. Thank you. All right, I think this makes sense. Good morning, everyone. We know that working as a community or group helps people stay accountable to results. I'm gonna put a money bag there. I created a 10 day real estate challenge inside of a private Facebook group. The people helping me run it have done over a thousand deals. Here's the link. This is free of charge. Normally we charge $500 and made that up. Uh, I. Normally we will charge $500 in the future, whatever. Um, I could say normally things like this cost $500. Uh, there is a daily assignment from a practitioner investor. Mm -hmm. Notice I didn't say practitioner instructor because in our group that means something. So I just, these are practitioners, they're investors. It starts tonight, 20 to 30 minutes every day. We release the next part of the challenge. And uh, who would like support on upgrading their investing game? How's that sound, everybody? Sounds oh, good. Sounds good. Stuff. Pretty darn good. When yeah. you say stat sounds tonight, throw the date in. In case they don't get it till tomorrow or the next day. 2 15 21. And have you tested it to make sure this works before you send it to your group? No. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Oh, testing. What testing. fun would that be? <laughs> I'm sure it works. It's Eventbrite. It works for me. Nice. There's beautiful Tamara. Hey Michael, I finished the cover, but it looked a little blurry, so I'm re I'm changing it out for a different one right now. So let me know what you think. Okay.
<laughs> oh, there's two questions, Tamara. Yeah, I'm taking that out right now, actually. Okay. Um, and then Michael, I'm just going to add a question for people to respond that um, they got the link from you, um, just in case people find this randomly and start registering for it. So then I'll oh, know. Okay. Um, so that there'll just be a spot. Who who gave you who who gave you this link? So they'll be able to put your name just to make sure there's no confusion. Cool. This year, get her the one thing she's been waiting for. The COVID-19 vaccine. Don't just see her somebody. See her. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what we just heard. That was awesome. I need to get on the pack call. Holy cow, everyone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick screenshot of this just to kind of show people like uh, well just show people we're legit here dang it i'm already late to the pack call I think that looks good. A picture of this, and I'll... they will understand you're on a money-making activity. <laughs> okay, so now I got the picture taken. Nice. Refresh the page. It should adjust the cover photo as well. Ten day real estate ch 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 challenge. Nice. Just a thought. I don't know if we're able to do it, but if we could, if if we could put something together that says, if you complete the ten day challenge, we're going to have a mastermind event with the people who put the challenge together. And then we invite them to another event afterwards. Just some incentive for them to do all 10 days. Just a thought. Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be something like that. Okay. Cool. When we finish, there will be something additional for you to come play with. Okay. So I'm going to drop the picture of the Facebook group in with my message and the link. So they know we got plenty of people to play with. All right, send. We'll see how it goes. All right, and with that, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you all to it. Get to work, do your thing, and I will see you. By the way, no, no Zoom up call today. Sorry, we've had too many uh, challenges with scheduling and everything, so we're going to postpone it today, and our Zoom ups will resume tomorrow. Okie dokie, everyone. Okay, have a great day. Talk to you okay. soon. Bye. Thank you. <clears throat>